Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you so much for our time together. We're going to have a great time in services today as we study Paul going through the churches, strengthening them. And what in the world does all that mean? And why do we as disciples need to be strengthened by people like Paul as a spiritual father? Right now, I want us to go back to Ephesians chapter 1, beginning with verse 3. Some very, very beautiful thoughts here. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us, not who is going to bless us, who has blessed us. You are already blessed. Who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Now, do you remember that passage from 1 Peter that we received grace in Christ before the beginning of time, before, before creation, before Genesis 1, God already gave us grace? Well, verse 4, He chose us in Him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in His sight. Just stop for a minute and just think what that just means. God exists outside of the boundaries of time. One of the most difficult things we have in comprehending God is to understand that God does not live in linear time like we do. We, we live in linear time. We have a beginning and we move forward. We can't go backwards in time. But God lives in the eternal present. Now, I say that as if I really understand that, but my mind can't even begin to comprehend that. God lives outside of linear time. God lives in the eternal present. Before the creation of this world, God already chose you and gave you grace in Christ Jesus. But go on. To be holy and blameless in His sight. In love He predestined us to be adopted as His sons through Jesus Christ in accordance with His pleasure and will to the praise of His glorious grace which He has freely given us in the one He loves. In Him we have redemption through His blood. I mean, this is incredible stuff. In Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. Now, this is where I want to park for a minute. What controls forgiveness of sins? In Him we have forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace that He lavished on us with all wisdom and understanding. God's grace that has been lavished upon us, that gave us forgiveness, is not something that just stands alone with God. God lavishes His grace with all wisdom and understanding. God knows exactly what He's doing. When God lavishes His grace upon you, He doesn't do so because He's just looking at you and feels good. There's thought in there. With all wisdom and understanding, he has lavished His grace upon you that provides forgiveness. Now that's something you need to go and meditate on today. 